Okay, four, four well-drained tuna cans, okay? Regular, regular can of tuna, okay? Four well-drained tuna cans, all right? So no water in there. Yeah, no water in there, not wet. All right. To that, we're going to add seven baby carrots or about a cup, one small onion or whatever you like to flavor. Okay. Two pieces of celery. I like the way the carrots stain your cutting board. You know, it all comes out in the end. It's all good. All right. While it's dry, while it's still dry, okay, we're going to add a pinch of salt. And that was sea salt, by the way. And some black pepper to taste. Now, I like the carrots in my uh, tuna salad because it just gives it an extra little flavor, a little, little crunch, okay? So, we mix it all up really well while it's dry, okay? And this helps the pepper get around and the salt get around and, and everything kind of combine in there. You can break up the larger chunks of tuna, okay? Now, important part is to get everything dry, nice and dry. That's real important. Then we're going to add some pickle relish because my daughter likes sweet pickle relish. So we're going to add sweet pickle relish. I made about one and a half big scoops. Okay. About one and a half big scoops of pickle relish. Give that a mix around, take a look at it. Alright. Now, here's the important part. Because you have celery in there, and you have tuna, which is going to hold a little bit of moisture. Have you ever noticed if you make tuna salad, and the next day, you have this watery consistency on top of your tuna salad? That is because you've had water in there, plus you had the mayonnaise, you still got water, the water rises up, gets stuck on top of the mayonnaise because it can't emulsify into it, and that's where you like, have to drain it off and other goodies there. So, I start out the first day, oh, I don't know, a dollop of mayo, maybe a little bit more. And we'll mix that in. And this actually comes out pretty dry. It's not a wet tuna salad. It's pretty dry. But you'll notice that the following day, and I like to, I really like to make my tuna salad up and eat it the next day because I like to give all the flavors a chance to marry in there. And I believe that it takes a little bit of time to do. So, you know, you put it for a couple hours in the fridge, maybe overnight, whatever you want to do. You work this mayonnaise in without breaking everything down too badly. And the next day, everything will pull together and work itself around. Now, I should say I said mayonnaise, but what I actually use most of the time, and what this actually is, is salad dressing because I like that little that little twang to it. But if you're a traditionalist. There is the tuna salad. Okay. Still kind of, I guess I should do it this way so you can see. Alright, so it's, it's not sopping wet. It's not overly dry. But it's not like white and mushy either. Now, as like I said, as this marries, some of the moisture gets sucked out of the tuna and, and the uh, celery and that, it'll get a little bit moister. So, 
There we go. And we'll let that sit overnight. And that, my brother, because you ask, is how I make my tuna fish. All right, I'll catch you all on the next one. Okay, so as you can see, this is the second day. We did the tuna fish yesterday. And today, here's the tuna fish, and you'll notice there's no wet residue in the bottom of the pan, or in the bottom of the bowl. There's no uh, water on top or anything like that, and it is still moist and delicious. So that is how I do my tuna without it being a big watery mess. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for asking the questions.